All right, we're back from the break. You're listening to Married to the Game. We are the FF Dynasty. You can find us on Twitter at the FF Dynasty. Also, Instagram or Facebook. Hit us up with any questions, comments you may have. You can find Casey at IMC Myers. You can find me at J Wayne's World. We got no big co today at Dynasty Big Co. Though, if you like to hit him up, say what's up. Let's uh, let's keep moving with these. Uh, keep it moving. Devonte Adam. What's it gonna be, McFly? Are you in or out? <laughs> Really killing it with the sound bites. <laughs> this is a this. I think this is a little bit of a tricky one. You got Devonte Adams versus Baltimore this week, so they're Packer at home, which is normally a good thing. Um, but Baltimore, Baltimore, yeah, pass defense, second fewest points to wide receivers. Um, but I do feel the most comfortable with Adams after kind of sorting this out for the last couple of weeks, um, as yeah. far as the Packers wide receivers go. Sure, um, looked like they had a little bit of a love connection there with Hundley. <laughs> um, he made a huge TD catch on a little scramble drill play, which I, I thought was, you know, fun to watch and kind of rolling out there and kind of waved him down the field. And Aaron Rodgers esque. Yeah, I think the announcer even said that. And it could have been a little bit better ball. Didn't need to be quite so outside, but um, they got a touchdown nonetheless. And then Hundley threw him that, that ball down on third and 10, I think it was, when the uh, Bears were trying to get the ball back there. Yep. And. Devonte made a great one-handed catch should have been pass interference as well dude was all holding his other arm it wasn't even accessible yeah <laughs> he just grabbed that thing and they panned over to Aaron Rodgers and he just had a big old smirk on his face yeah it was uh it was pretty cool yeah yeah I mean a lot of, some of these times these wide receivers don't need to do these one-handed catches like I see Jarvis out there like on a, if, if there's ever like a screen a quick quick outer like they just hit him right off He's sometimes you, just catching that you know one-handed him, you know for no reason. Odell love the, that one-handed. They got the one-handed catch connection. Yeah. It, Always did that at LSU. They're like, hey, look at this. I can catch it with one hand. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why you do No, that I could do it better. On purpose. <laughs> uh, but he had no choice. And, right. You know, it was really nice. It was a beaut. A beaut. <laughs> <laughs> but Baltimore's been tough, man. Like, Yeah. They've been tough against the pass. I mean, we did see Rashard Matthews go out there and have a, a successful game. Was, they're a bit up and down. But, I mean, you probably got to ride Devontae. Yeah. I mean, you haven't had too many people be, like, completely unsuccessful against him that were, like, you know, receivers that you were expecting at least something from. It's happened mm-hmm. a couple of times. Ravens have been good. I mean, the the Bears had been pretty good at home True. defensively as well. Uh, it was a sloppy kind of mess of a game. Uh, so, I, if, if, if you didn't have really any other option that you were, like, super stoked about, I don't have a problem playing Devontae Adams this week. For the most part, I mean, obviously, if you have a much better matchup, um, go with go with the better matchup. And, and, and you know, obviously, you're probably not going to get somebody who's on a quote unquote superior talent level or the same talent level as Devontae Adams is and, and point scoring wise before Rodgers went down. Um, but, you know, let, let's say you had Man, let's go Manny Sanders um, versus Cincy, who's given up the few fifth fewest points to wide receivers. Would you play Manny Sanders who's coming off a monster game? Um, or Devontae Adams this week. Man, Manny Sanders looked awesome. Just exploded. But it's still Brock Notzweiler uh, throwing it to him. Yeah. And it may not even be him because he's dealing with like a chest thing. I don't know. Uh, man, I would have to say, I guess, give me Devontae. Yeah. I, I think I think I want to go Devontae too. I mean, I, I'm really cool with either one of those guys for the most part. Devontae Adams or Sammy Watkins? Sammy's got at Minnesota, a little Xavier Rhodes. Uh, I'll, I'll give me Devontae Adams. Yeah. What about Paul Richardson? He's um, got Atlanta. Well, if for some reason Doug Baldwin doesn't play, then I'm real interested in Paul Richardson. He's mm-hmm. nursing a little. He re aggravated the groin, I think, in that game maybe. Mm-hmm. But finished the game. Um, but he's got the little Q tag next to his name. So interesting. Something to keep your eye on there, but I guess you really won't know. So you probably have to go with Devonte Adams. I would probably go with Devonte Adams just cause it's, I think this is at the Monday night game. It is. Uh, yeah. So what he, about, what about Crowell? He's got Jacksonville. You could go Crowell or Devonte mm, Adams. Crowell's been hot. Jacksonville's not as good as against the run as they are against the pass. Ooh, that's a coin flip coin flip. Huh? So what you're saying is, um, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that I should, you know, because I think that I should discuss it with my father. <laughs> Give me dis- Crowell. Give discuss me Crowell. it with my father. Give me Crowell. All right. That was one of my teams, actually. I have all those players, and I don't know who to put in my flex, because I'm kind of, it's, it's a solid option of, yeah. of flexes to ask. That's why I didn't put it in the, anyway. How about Marvin Jones at 
at Chicago, who we just talked about, plays half decent at home. They're giving up 13 points, uh, 13 most points to wide receivers. Um, Give me Devontae. Marvin Jones is coming off his worst week of the season. Other than that, it, the last three weeks, he's been the best fantasy receiver That's available. true, but that bad taste in my mouth from last yeah. week. They got Galladay yeah, I, getting healthy. I think I think I'm I'm willing to roll the dice one more go like give me load it up again. Load it up again. I'll go Marvin. You go Marvin. I'm going to stick with the Let's do one more. How about Nelson Aguilar at Dallas, six most points to receivers. Um Nelson's been, you know, a bit of a bummer the last two weeks, giving you just five points in the last two contests. So, but this could be a huge bounce back. He's been he was red hot with touchdowns for the first good part of that season. So who you got? Devontae or Nelson? I'm going Devontae. All right. I'm gonna take these uh I'm gonna take these targets and yeah. this connection and, and, yeah, the, I like and the, it. that's his favorite option, I feel right like. Right now, yeah, for sure. I'll I'll stick with you. I'll I'll roll with Devontae on that one as well. All right, solid, solid. Let's move along, shall we? <laughs> 